Hi everybody, it's Friday and it's the big giveaway entry video. So uh, if you've been watching my channel or if you haven't, in this video I'm going to let you know how to enter to win this 1960 Fat Boy that I just had revamped at Razor Emporium. They did a beautiful job of fixing it. It was kind of bent along there and didn't close properly. Well, they took it apart, they straightened it out, and they made it, made it like new again. I mean, this thing is, looks like it's never been shaved with. I shaved with it. You can go back and watch that if you want to, but I'm going to be giving this away in this video. You'll be able to enter in the comment section of this video, and then I'll uh, let it go for like a week, maybe a week and a half, and see, see how many people uh, uh, enter the contest. And then I'm gonna send it off to you. Now, I'm hoping that an international winner will win this because they're so hard to come by. Uh, in the UK and Australia and India and those kind of places, but anybody can enter. So here, I'm gonna tell you how to enter at the end of this video. So either skip forward or just watch the whole thing. But I will tell you, I do have a problem, folks. Now, you know, in that last video, I showed you I had four uh, Gillette fat boys. I'd like to introduce you to the fifth one that I just got off eBay for $22. Uh, he accepted the offer of $22. This thing is also in fantastic shape. It's not bent. It's very, 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 it's very clean. There's a couple of spots like where the brass is showing through and there's a little bit, I don't even know if you can see it. There's a couple of little corrosion spots. There you go. But nothing that will affect the way it shaves and I haven't shaved with it yet. I'm gonna shave with this fat boy. This is like the fat boy channel now. I'm like the Bob Ross of fat boy acquisition. I have a problem, folks. Anyway, so I'm going to be shaving with that. And since I didn't use Barbasol in the last one, I'm going to be using Barbasol to shave with this fat boy just because I want to. I want to see what it's like. This, this is a 1959. Uh, this one was from the first quarter. So it was an E1. The first quarter, the first four months of 1959 is when this was made. So there you go, January, February, March, April. So let's see how it works. The one I just got, this other one, this is a different one, is from E2, so the second quarter. I gotta keep all these straight, man. I, don't worry, I got them, got them right up here. So I just took a shower, did my hair, put some uh, hot water on my face from the sink, and I'm gonna use some, some shaving oil to begin with. This is the Sterling Island Man. So I don't normally use shaving oil, but uh, I like this stuff and I wanna try it with some Barbasol. So what I'm gonna do is rub it all over my face. Mmm, smells good. It smells like citrusy coconut. You know, it smells like what you would hope something called Island Man would smell like, but it's also very subtle. That was the thing I didn't like about the other uh, Sterling. I can't remember the name of it at the, off the top of my head, but it smelled a little bit too much like cologne, you know, and it was a little Invasive, I guess you'd say. Anyway, so the Island Man is good. Good stuff from Sterling. Can't go wrong with Sterling soaps. If you've never tried Sterling, try them. They're fantastic. Um, okay, so 1959. Now this one's interesting because all the paint on the numbers is gone. And I cleaned this up once I got it because it was a little bit grungy and I cleaned it up and uh, you know, took the toothbrush to it. You just put toothpaste on an old toothbrush and you just scrub it and it's pretty good put it in some hot water, I boiled it to sanitize it for about three or four minutes, and now it's time to try it out. Now the last 1959 that I was shaving with this week, which I made in the last video, Feather Blade, brand new out of the package, was a fantastic razor. So I'm hoping that this one will be the same. But I'm holding on to this one. I haven't shaved with it yet, but I think I'm holding on to it. <laughs> um, this is the one I'm giving away. Here they are together. The 1960, the giveaway razor, and the one I'm about to shave with. Don't worry, I know which one is which. I won't accidentally send you the wrong one. All right, got oil up there. I'm gonna splash a little bit more water just because I'm like that. Do some Barbasol. About that much. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. And let's put it up here. You should have seen me yesterday, uh, now that I have five uh, vintage fat boys in my medicine cabinet. I uh, got the one in the mail yesterday that I'm gonna shave with now, and I was cleaning it up, and then I was looking at the other one, I was like, oh, I need to clean that one up. I, need to I was just in here like a little weirdo, cleaning and scrubbing all my little razors. <laughs> like, oh, I can just clean this one. In fact, I even took old Grandpa Grungy out and gave him a little bit of a cleaning. You wanna see what he looks like? 
There he is. You probably wouldn't even recognize him. He's so clean. Well, he's still Grandpa Grungy. I mean, look at that handle. You're never gonna, you know, forget what he looks like, but I cleaned, he cleaned up pretty well. Good job, Grandpa. I'll put you back in there with all your new friends. I hope he didn't feel jealous. All right, I'm just kidding. Gillettes don't feel, do they? The razors, they don't. Vintage, vintage ones might, I don't know. All right, here we go. The first shave with a brand new $22, ooh, fat boy. I can already tell this is, now I have, I didn't shave yesterday. So this is, um, what about two days growth approximately? And already it's making short work of it. That's the beauty. If you've never used this, of a safety razor, these things just cut through your whiskers like butter. Like butter, I tell you. There's never any pulling. There's never any yanking like you get with multi-blade cartridges. I know I shouldn't have to keep singing the praises of the safety razor. That's kind of a weird thing for a grown man to do. But still, even after all these years, I've been doing this now for eight years, I'm still pleasantly surprised at how well these things shave. It's unbelievable. I'd only wish that I had discovered it sooner. Now, after I give away this fat boy, as I said, I hope it goes to an international uh, winner, but I'm not gonna limit it to that, you know? That seems kinda, it's just gonna be open to everybody. I don't know if there have been any other uh, YouTube shavers that have been given away um, fat boys or not, but they're so talked about, you know, it's like they have this mystique to them and I kind of want to share that because I certainly don't need five. I need four. I need four. Four is the four. Yeah. Four. Do people do that? Four. <laughs> I know this is the German three, right? I learned that in, uh, in glorious bastards. Um, yeah. So I want to share the love. I don't need five. I've got the grungy fat boy. I got the two 1959s. I got the, the Goldie, the 58. And this thing is shaving like, this is great. I think there might be something to the 1950. I know I said this in the last one, but there's something to the 1959 fat boy. Now the giveaway one, the revamped one is 1960, but I mean, what's a year, give or take. It's still a good razor. It's just very mild. And in fact, that's another good reason I was thinking about this. I was actually thinking before I, <laughs> I, I only think about halfway and then I hit record on the video. I, I was thinking, well, this is good for a beginner if you've never shaved with a safety razor because it's a mild razor until you switch it to uh, setting nine and then it's real aggressive. So it's like you can, you can dial in exactly what you need for whatever your you know, skill level is, I guess I'd say. Wow. I lucked out again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I feel very fortunate. Okay. And the Barbasol and the combination of that, the Island Man feels and smells great. Here we go. Round two, Barbasol. I still have two of the 100th anniversary Barbasol cans that I'm sort of saving. I'll probably save, well, I was gonna say I'll save one and not use it, but why not? I'll use it and just keep the can just for, uh, just for, you know, collectors, collector's sake. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna continue making them or, you know, release them again this year since it's still a hundred year anniversary of Barbasol. All right, pass number two, across the grain. Sorry, I have to be quiet when I'm blowing out my cheek there. <laughs> That's the one minute of peace you get during these videos. That's when I just shut up and shave. That's the name of the new show, Shut Up and Shave. Oh, I got a nick. All right, you drew blood. You're part of the family now, I guess. We always hurt the ones we love, don't we? Oh, gosh, it's a fact of life. Terrible, terrible fact of life. Um, I will say that ever since that video I made with the other 1959, that I've been shaving with on setting seven, which is fairly aggressive. I was feeling some tenderness in my skin. Like maybe I should back off. And uh, so that's, that's the reason why I didn't shave yesterday. I was actually feeling a little bit of tenderness around here, like I'd overshaved on a high setting. So I gave my 
face the day off. But it's back to work now. Back to the mines. So maybe I should dial that one back to a, to a six. This one is on seven. I don't know if I showed you that, but it's on seven. Right there. I know you can't see that, but trust me. And I'm gonna get the angle right. And go lightly. So that I don't get that kind of razor burn tenderness afterwards with this one. I'm gonna do three passes with this razor because that's what I generally do. But I think with the last one I was kinda kind of over shaving, you know? I felt like, oh, this razor's so good, and then I was just shaving and shaving and shaving. So I blame myself, I don't blame my razor. It's a poor craftsman that blames his tools. I know I've said that before. And there's a reason why. But yeah, this one, uh, this one's shaving very well. As I was cleaning Grandpa Grungy yesterday, that sounds weird, if you don't know <laughs> who I'm talking about. My old mother razor, my original fat boy razor. I was cleaning him and thinking, am I gonna ever shave with this guy before, or again? Because these other ones shave so much better. I mean, I'll have to, because you know I don't wanna leave him, make him feel left out. Once again, I'm anthropomorphizing my razors. Is there some, something wrong with me? Well, I mean, lots of things wrong wrong with me but uh, is that another thing that's wrong with me <laughs> wow doing great up here got a little bit right here which I always do and got this stuff here which is looking more and more like a turkey neck every day as I get older so I'm gonna go just a little bit on the sides here and I'm gonna go sideways on my neck and uh, you know maybe on my chin and maybe on my mustache area and who knows? I'm just gonna shave it all. Come on, let's go for it. Three pass. You don't have to do three pass, folks. Do as I say, not as I do. And sometimes don't do as I say either. All right, going up. Getting the last of those whiskers, so I just feel smooth as a baby's bohonkus, as we say. You ever heard that term, bohonkus, for your rear end, for your culo? All right. It's a family channel. I don't want to, don't want to curse, you know. But I can use funny curse words, right? In Spanish. No, I shouldn't use Spanish because there's lots of Spanish-speaking viewers. I was supposed to give a shout out to someone. <laughs> I just now remembered. I think his name is T Tommy. Gosh, shout out to whoever I said I was going to shout out when I got the comment a week ago. <laughs> I apologize. Oh gosh, I hope it was Tommy I was supposed to shout out. Shout out to everybody, really. All right, while I'm shaving, while I'm finishing up, I'm gonna tell you how to enter. It's very easy. In the comment section of this video, just leave a comment saying, I would like to win the fat boy or something along, it doesn't have to be exact, and tell me where you are. Now that will not factor in because that's gonna be a random choice like I did with that giveaway for that art razor. But I'm just curious, where are you located? You don't have to be specific. Don't give me your, your, your street address. Just like if you're in the United States, what state are you in? What, what big city are you in? What small town are you in? If you're in the UK, what county are you in? <laughs> How do they do it over there in the UK? I've been there a couple of times. You break it up by counties and villages and things like that. Anyway, just let me know where you live. Say you want to be in to win and where you live. Like I said, it will not factor in. I will not favor international viewers, even though I kind of want one to, uh, to win it. But just as an idea, I thought it'd be interesting to, to go down and read. Read where everybody's from that's watching. I know I can look at like the, the YouTube analytics or whatever, but that's, that's all boring. Who wants to do that? Look at a bunch of graphs and pie charts. I don't. I want it to keep it human, you know? All right. There's one pesky little patch. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, man. That's all I can say. Man, I'm going to wash out. What I do to wash it out is I open up the barn doors and I just kind of wash it out. Sometimes I flip the, the razor blade over. I don't know if that does anything. But you know, and then I just sit it out on the counter to dry. 
by itself. I don't wipe it down or anything. All right. Ooh, that nick just about went away. There was only one little nick. All right, good job. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised again with that $22 fat boy, which I know is not a common price on eBay because I've been watching them. You know, they're going from $40, $35 up to $65. So, But I found this one. The guy had um, misspelled safety in the word safety razor. So I think that's kind of why it was under the radar. So I don't know how I came across it, but it said, uh, you know, best offer. So I said, well, 22 sounds right. <laughs> and he immediately said, yes, here you go. And the pictures are kind of bad, but man, this thing is in great shape. You know, except for that little bit of corrosion, which is purely cosmetic, doesn't affect the shave at all. But everything else, straight as an arrow, needed nothing but a little scrubbing. So, it's great. Very cool. All right. Chiseled face as the aftershave. Just because I need some, I need some menthol in my life. I need a little menthol. Here we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get out of there, boy. There we go. Didn't want to, didn't want to give it up. All right. Oh. Mm, it really smells like you're like putting some sort of hard liquor on your face. It's an interesting smell. And then it's got the menthol afterwards. It makes your eyes kind of do this. Oh, boy. Speaking of menthol, uh, a friend of the channel will be sending me something from Wet the Face, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We were uh, corresponding by email, so I'm going to get some of that crazy, super mentholated stuff that Wet the Face just came out with. And I can't wait to try that out, so thanks. I won't mention your name until you tell me it's okay to mention your name. All right, oh man, my eyes. Can you see that? <laughs> Did you hear that, that trumpet blast in the background when that happened? All right, so here it is. Here's the razor I'm giving away right here. The revamped Razor Emporium Fat Boy, 1960. It's been in my medicine cabinet, it's been hanging out with the other guys, and now it's time to go on to you. So as I said earlier, to enter to win, just leave a comment in underneath this video that uh, say, hey, I want to win the fat boy and let me know where you live. Don't get specific. Just, you know, just kind of, you know what I'm talking about. We're all adults here. You can figure it out. And good luck to the winner. I will um, let the contest, let people leave comments for like the next week and maybe two weeks. I'm not sure because people after that last one kept sending me comments like long after I gave it away saying, hey, I want to win. So I'll wait until the trickle kind of slows down. And then, uh, and then I'll choose a winner and I'll let you guys know. But anyway, there it is. The 1960 Fat Boy. The giveaway. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. This is just, just a real pleasure. I mean, ah, oh, my face feels good. It is smooth as a baby's bahonkus. And, uh, and that's it. So everybody have a good weekend. Enter below and I'll see you on Monday. Good luck, everybody.